Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare related. Today I have a haul for you guys. Now, the Sephora Rouge sale obviously just happened. I think it ended on April. April 21st, May 1st, I don't even know. But I just got the finishing touches on my haul in the mail. Sephora was so bad, like behind just from everything that's going on in the world. So it took me a really long time to get this haul together for you. Some of the products are from Sephora, some of them aren't. You guys, this is a skincare and cosmetic slash makeup haul, luxury edition. Let's get started. So the first product that I want to share that I purchased is, I've already done a review on it, you know it, but I've, Oh, and just a forewarning, I have already started using these products just because it took so long for everyone to come in. So, but this is everything that I got in anticipation for the summer months. You guys, I first got the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Liquid Foundation, SPF 20. You guys, this is my first La Mer Cosmetics Skin Color De La Mer product. So I was so excited to finally just say, okay, I'm going all in, I need a good foundation, and I finally Bought it. The next product I purchased at the Sephora Rouge sale is of course the La Mer Concealer. I was so impressed by this that I needed to get the concealer. And of course, both are very skin-like, very natural looking. And best of all, they're infused with the La Mer Miracle Broth. The next product that I got at the Sephora Rouge sale is of course a fresh batch of the La Mer, the Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream right here. You guys, I have never tried this cream before. This is my first jar that I have bought. That is the La Mer Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream. I thought it was totally appropriate for summer. And of course, it's just another excuse for me to try out another one of their creams. They have the Creme de La Mer, the original, that I've gone through so many jars of. Then they have the Moisturizing Soft Cream, which I loved. And then next on the list would naturally come the Cool Gel Cream. So you guys know a video and a review is coming on this shortly. The next product that I got at the Sephora VIB Rouge sale is of course, the foundation brush by La Mer. I was like so blown away by the foundation and the concealer. Then everybody was just like, you, you, if you like them, then you need the brush to go with them and you'll be blown away. So this did just come to me yesterday. We're almost, we're heading towards the end of May and I just got this and I ordered it in April. So, so sorry in advance for the late VIB Rouge sale haul, but you guys, I feel complete in the La Mer department. Next, we're veering away from the VIB Rouge sale, and I'm gonna go in with just kind of like a twist on things. It's not really skincare or cosmetics, but it is body care, and it is by Victoria's Secret Pink. It's in the, the scent Fresh and Clean Sundays right here. This is a body mist that I spritz all over my upper body every time I get out of the shower. It has hints of nectarine splash and pink skies, whatever that means. However, this smells so, so good. And I stopped buying Victoria's Secret products for the past couple years, but like recently I've just been really on a big Vicky Secret kick and I think they do make fantastic body mists and this just smells, oh, divine and I love it. And my husband always tells me I smell good. So you guys, Treat yourselves to this. They're very inexpensive, and I think you'll really, really like it no matter the age. Next is my beloved and coveted Caudalie. I ordered this directly from the Caudalie website, and it came in. It is the Purifying Mask by Caudalie right here. I have yet to try this, but due to the upcoming summer months and it getting like really warm and really humid, Something just communicated with me. What the heck was that? Okay. Anyway, for the humid months, I feel like there's a ghost in my room now. That was so weird. So my pores tend to get clogged because of the humidity. So I always like to have a good purifying mask on hand. You guys, I had... Stop it! And I hope it can effectively clean my pores. That's 
so weird. That's so weird. Last but not least, sorry for the ghost in my room. Maybe I'm giving the ghost some good skincare advice. Come back, come back, thank you. Done. Last but not least, I had purchased a tea. Tea bags by Caudalie, and they are infused with a blend of cinnamon peel. Come back, girl, come back. Now I'm missing all bright lights. Blueberry, red vine, sweet orange peel, and black currant gives immediate feeling of well-being. So you guys, I had purchased this because I really thought it was interesting. It was $14 for this box full of tea. So I wanna see what skincare benefits, other than of course well-being, that this tea could give me by Caudalie. The brand is definitely very heavily re revolved around grapeseed for antioxidants and vines, and it's just very based on the fruit that is grapes. And you could see it's all kind of in their packaging. So yes, so I got these two products and that is it for my haul. Thanks for tuning in to watch me and apparently my ghost who is affecting my lights. Bitch back off unless you're gonna give me some good skincare advice and leave me, or if you're not, if you're not here, girl come back. If you're not here for the skincare, then you need to leave and let me and my subscribers be. Keep that light on me, baby, because it's always going to be shining. Everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys got at the Sephora sale, as well as any new skincare products for the summer. I'm so excited to use them, and I love you all. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm very active if you want to see more about me and more of me in between videos. Love you guys. Bye.